So when we read slowly and carefully, we are making giant gaps in every pause in our understanding. We're not getting the flow. We're not getting the meaning. We're not therefore comprehending or understanding. Which is why the slowly and carefully readers end up understanding nothing. And if you believe that that formula is correct, slowly and carefully is correct, you'll do what I did when I was at university, and you'll start making notes as you read slowly and carefully, and see if you recognize this as a student you have seen or have been. This is a student studying seriously. That is a brain on the verge of total illiteracy. Wrong formula and down you go, because the slower you go, the less you understand. The less you understand, the more you think, I must go slower. The more notes I must take, because I'm forgetting it all, which I certainly was when I was doing this horrendously inappropriate and bad method of reading. But now what happens when I go faster? Something really interesting. For thousands of years, the human race had thought that the thinking processes, da 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 da, easy to understand. So amazingly, when you read faster, your comprehension goes up because your brain is taking in and is able to take in those big visual grasps of information that make sense, not taking in one bit per time. So we've had it completely the wrong way around. We thought for decades, centuries indeed, that the faster you went, the worse you got. And the opposite is true. The faster, the better.